It's not the greatest. It would be better if I could build top, but I'm gonna get into my guard, so it's gonna be better for me. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do here, this hand is locking his hips already here, so he doesn't move too. 69 north south, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna follow him if he start moving the wind. I'm, I'm following him here, I'm keeping way for him, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna move the him off, I'm gonna use my, my hand this way, and I keep his leg like this, guys, because every time you move him, the guy can get out of position here. So I wanna kinda keep my knee here, if I'm gonna move him, I'm gonna use him with the knee here. It, it takes a little bit of my power, but it blocks the mouth when you're sitting there, keep him out. So when I'm gonna, I'm gonna move her, and I'm gonna bring this leg in. I'm gonna be quick to recover guard. Okay, I'm gonna move, step out, lock the guard. I don't want him to get up and punch him, so I'm already here locking him. Look at that way. Okay guys, that's the first one. It's very basic. You just recover guard right here. So you're here, you can hold his hips a little bit, you block the mouth right here. You're gonna move a little bit, turn, turn your body, bring this leg in. Really quick, I'm gonna pull this arm, lock the guard, now you're back to full guard. Keep the guy down, we're gonna pull up, okay? That's it. <coughs> we'll work this one for times and then we'll go back to the guy. This is a different situation where we gotta stop. Okay guys? If I get if I if I get stuck, it doesn't work, we make it much. Okay. I'm really good. You really should do it if you're really sure you can do it. You don't want to get caught there. You want to just, you know, knock out. Knock out there because you're going to be on the bottom again. Yes. So you're just getting out of the bottom. It's just now, yeah, you've got both of that good knee, so you might want to either wait to see what he's waiting for. Or the back, try to feed that arm. Okay. You guys, let's take a look at other situations. Type of control with the submission on, okay? So, You got it right here. This side of my arm, I missed the, the hips here, so he already moved and I got my arm stuck here. On this side, okay? If I if I have a chance, like maybe I'm gonna try to get the back of the guard, it's always good to do this. Whenever you hear, if you can create movement, then put it back in the guard. Always, it's always a good option, okay? But let's say right now that he has his knee high up here, his hips are down, so I can't, I can't put it back in the guard right away. So I'm going to use my legs here to give you leverage. And I'm going to go like this here. I, I went here. When I go here, I'm going to push off this arm. I'm going to put my head underneath him and switch my hands again. I'm going to go here, push him off here. I'm going to go here. Okay? When I'm here, I'm going to trap his head here, put my knee on his head here. Bigger, so he can't look up anymore. Now when I come out, I have a choke right here. So, and then I'm done. Move towards his hips, you see? Alright, to make it tight. So you want to have this hand here, but maybe I can the time to already move. I'm here to try to put him back to the guard. I can't. I'm going to use my legs here to give you some power here. So I push with my legs and my arm here. I go. Okay, now if I get stuck here, I'm going to wait. I put my knee here so he can't look up. Otherwise, Adrian is going to start looking up. Maybe he's going to get out, but I'm going to get out. If I, if I miss the choke, I got out of the cycle choke, which I wanted. So when I'm here, I'm using my hands. I came out here. I already locked up here good. Use my knee here, maybe he can not look up. If I really want that choke, I'm going to put my knee here so he can't get out. You get it tight here. It's gonna come right here. Now I can take it from here, just moving my hips this way. Make it tight. But because his arm is trapped here, I can throw him this side. I know I'm gonna push it to the side. Now I have more pressure to hip out and go in. Okay, guys. One more time? One more time. Okay. Sorry, Jerry. <coughs> So we're here, we're trying to get the guard of ours, can't. We're gonna use that connection here, use my legs and my hands at the same time, so I can really get the head out. Okay? This hand, when I moved, came around this way. Trap, trap with the knee, get the head out, 
Make sure you have that choke tied here and go here. I can put pressure here on the choke, uh, put in my chest, uh, pressure here, here. Put that right here. Otherwise, I'm going to come to the side, move from the side of this leg here. Put more pressure. Lock his leg like here. 
Now he comes up, when he comes up, I'm outside here. See, I'm already outside. He can try here, but I'm going to take this back here. So he was in your back, and then he can end up on his back from that position, okay? Let's get some more time. Good, please. So right here, he's got to use a back of my neck here. I'm going to use this uh, under over here. It's see so he's pushing up this way. Get my head out. Get the control really good here. Start working skating the hooks. He's coming to mount me. I lock his leg here. Even though he has to drop here, it's easy for me to go to his back here. So this transition will be good. Mountain, so I'm gonna get this hand in. Now it's dangerous here. Sweet, see it come out. Keep that in. Remember here, I want to try you here. This hand is here. So as I'm here, my head's here. If I don't do the legs like this, my head's here. Come out. Yeah, you can have it. Like a second to one. There it is. Okay. And you just keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Keep doing it. And then, and then the partner one. This is the partner one.